Hey everyone, Todd from Sideshow FX once again, and this video is all about the installation of our Reaper MIDI controller for Stream Deck package. This is the Mac version of the installation process. If you're looking for the Windows version, there's the link in the description below. So we're going to start with the Stream Deck software here, and in particular we're in Stream Deck version 5 uh, with the new store here. So you click on the store icon and you go to the left hand side pane here, click plugins, and in the search box over the top of the right here we're going to enter MIDI and it filters the results for us. And you see it here, this is the one we want here, MIDI, and we're just going to click install. So there, okay, and it just takes a second. And that's it. It's installed and we can close this window. And the next thing we're going to do is set up our ports. So we're on the Mac, so we use Audio MIDI Setup. And you can find that in your Applications folder, Utilities folder. There it is, Audio MIDI Setup. And uh, you, you may have these ports, uh, um, but this is the one we're after here, the IEC uh, driver port here. So we click that, and we're presented with this dialog box. Uh, currently there's no ports that are available here so we're going to leave this device name blank very important you have to leave that blank and we're going to click on the plus icon down here so clicking on that it gives us a new port we're going to click on this to rename it now the case sensitivity is very important on this so we're going to type in Mackie Dada capital M capital D We'll click the plus sign again and do a second one. And click on it, change the name. And this will be Da to Mackie. So capital D to capital M, Da to Mackie. Click the plus sign again. And we'll rename this. And this will be Stream Deck to Da Track. So capital S, capital D, capital T. Just like that. And we'll click the plus sign again. Click to rename. And this will be Da Track to Stream Deck. So capital D, capital T, to capital S, capital D. So Da Track to Stream Deck. Just like that. And then we, when we finish that, we click apply. And we're done. We've added our ports. Now the next thing we want to do is launch Reaper. And we're going to the preferences here under Reaper preferences. And we're going to, uh, on the left hand pane here, we'll scroll down to Control OSC Web. Click on that and we're going to click on the Add button. And under Control Surface Mode, we're going to select Mackie Control Universal. And we have MIDI input and MIDI output. Now under MIDI input, we're going to select the IAC driver that we just installed, Mackie to DAW. And on the MIDI output, the DAW to Mackie. Say OK. And still in the same control surfaces, we're going to click Add once again. Control service mode, another universal, Mackie Control Universal. MIDI input this time will, will be Stream Deck to DAW Track. And the MIDI output, DAW Track to Stream Deck. And select OK. And OK once again. We'll go over to our download package. This is the package that uh, you have downloaded from Sideshow FX, the Reaper MIDI controller for Stream Deck. And you'll find a MIDI graphics folder here. Click on that, and under Mac, we have a folder here called Trivlego Spell. This needs to be dragged and dropped into your Documents folder. So I'll bring my Documents folder in here, and the path, of course, is Macintosh. Yeah, use your hard drive, Users, Username, Documents. So you click this and drag it straight into the root of, of Documents here. Now I've already got it here, so I'm not going to do that. These graphics. Uh, are the graphics that will appear for the MIDI controls on your Stream Deck profile. Speaking of your Stream Deck profile, we're going to import those now as well. 
So in your Stream Deck software, click on the gear icon. Under the Profiles tab, at the bottom is a flyout menu. Click on that and select Import. Navigate to your Reaper MIDI Controller Stream Deck downloaded folder. Open up Stream Deck Profiles, Mac, and you'll see there's two profiles in this folder. One is for the regular 15 key device and one is for the XL device. So whichever device you are working with, that's what you'll select. And once that's loaded, this is what you're presented with. I'm on an XL device, so this is uh, the XL layout. Uh, and I'll provide a, a link below this video that details the orientation of, uh, of this pack and all the features uh, that, uh, that is included in it. So once you're done installing, you can uh, take a look through that. So you will have noticed under a Stream Deck Profiles um, folder that there's an additional folder in there called To Copy. And, there, and inside that there's two additional profiles, one for the regular 15 key, one for the XL. Now what these are for, these will give you one folder. It takes this entire profile and packs it into one folder. And this is what it looks like. It's just one folder. When you double click this folder, it opens up the entire profile. The reason for this is I can right click on this folder, say copy, and let's say I have built my own profile. And I'll just go to a, a default empty profile here. And let's say I've got a bunch of other things that I normally use here. Well, I can click on any empty button, select paste, and this entire Reaper MIDI controller profile is now available to me in this profile that I've created. Double click that and it opens up. So if you have a pro profile set that you want Reaper's MIDI controller to be a part of, that's how you do it. And that's it, you're all good to go. As always, you can check out our support page should you have any concerns or any difficulties, you should be able to find some answers there. And once again, thanks very much for downloading the pack. We really appreciate uh, the support from the, the creative community. You guys have been wonderful to us, and we really appreciate you joining us on this journey. Until next time, thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon.